Hiya and welcome to the James Oliver Guitar Channel. Today's video is probably my most requested video ever. This is my full Telecaster guitar collection. I've had so many comments and stuff about when am I going to do it. And uh, I've sort of held off from doing it because I, you know, I don't want people to think that I'm showing off etc. So I'm just going to show the guitars, tell you a little bit about them. You've seen some of, the, some of them before in my uh, previous videos. So here we go then. They're not in any order and there is 12 of them. I will warn you it is going to be quite a long video. But you know, if you're into Telecasters, stick around. You might enjoy it. This is Telecaster number one. This is a Fender Road Warm Telecaster. But what's special about this is... It's got a B-bender in it. And of course, this is a, a hip shot string bender in this. I've done extensive videos on this. And uh, as I say, it started life as a road-worn Telecaster. So it's a made in Mexico guitar, but the higher end Mexican ones. And um, my first proper Telecaster was one of the first uh, series road-worns with the uh, white guard and blonde. And uh, I sold that. I do know where the guitar is, though, if I ever want to try and buy it back. But the first Telecaster up is the uh, Fender Road Worn B Bender Telecaster. That's number one in the collection. And number two, this is an interesting one. This is a Fender Telesonic. This is an American made Fender Telecaster from the early 2000s with the uh, Gretsch Dynasonic pickups, a sort of a Les Paul Jr. bridge. And uh, an SG Les Paul sort of setup. This is a really cool sounding guitar. Sounds different to all the other tellies. And it's like having a Gretsch and a Telecaster mixed. And that's uh, guitar number two, the Fender Telesonic. Up next is number three. You've seen this one about a thousand times. This is my uh, Fender uh, Vintera Telecaster Custom. Heavily modded, of course. You know, we've got the... Uh, Joe Barton, Danny Gatton in the bridge. We've got the Lambaton PAF 920D Custom made me this guard or my name on, as you can see. It's got stickers on it. And this is the guitar that I always play. It's the one I was playing when Fender shared my video. And it probably is my favourite, even though it's a Mexican-made Vintera Series Telecaster. So that's, that's number three. Number four. This is a cool guitar. This is a JV Squire. Made in 1982, the neck is dated uh, October 82, it's got the second generation logo. And what's cool about this is, I bought this from um, Guitar Village in Farnham, or Farnham, sorry. And it's got Joe Barden, Danny Garten pickups, and a Bigsby, it's a real uh, rockabilly machine. And uh, it come with a horrible, like, tortoiseshell guard, but Dave Durnley was clearing out his workshop and found me an original guard. So there we are. This is uh, just about all original. Sadly, the bridge with the serial number on is uh, long gone. But it's definitely a JV. And these are really cool guitars. I can see why, you know, people rate them so, you know, so highly in the guitar world. Definitely, it's not a hype to them. It definitely is a real thing. They are really good. And, and while we're on the subject of Squires, this is quite a cool one. This is a Squire Classic Vibe Esquire. Now, I've heard a lot about the Classic Vibe series being, you know, wonderful guitars, highly rated by lots of great pickers out there. But I never bought one. You know, I got all these. You, you know how it is. But then they brought out this uh, limited edition Blackguard Esquire. And I had a bit of an Esquire itch, and it's got the muddy sound, you know, up there. Except I bought it. It's a little bit heavy, but what a superb guitar. Lovely neck. Quite a flat radius to the fretboard. But, you know, these could be the next JVs, maybe. You never know, do you? So that's the uh, Squire Classic Vibe Esquire. And that's guitar number five in the James Oliver Guitar Telecaster collection. Up next is a signature model. This is a Fender Wilco Johnson signature telecaster this is one of the first ones that come out you know they when they come out they were st started off as limited to 200 i bought this brand new and i sold it to buy something else and i've since bought it back basically it's a classic uh you know the classic player series telly with a red guard is what it basically is and wilco's signature on the back printed on you know but 
being such a fan of you know the pirates, the feel goods, that little pub rock thing, I just wanted to have one. So I've done videos on it, and it does play and sound great, but I don't play it as much as I should. And in the new year, I'm going to do a series of um, Wilco Johnson lessons, you know, on his playing style. So this guitar will be heavily featured in that, and that's guitar number six in the in the collection. Telecasters only. This is guitar number seven. This is a 1976 Fender Telecaster Custom. And this is my uh, Mick Green guitar. This is, you know, it looks like Mick Green's Telecaster, I believe is a 75 or maybe 76. Free bolt neck. This one has been stripped. I don't know what color it was originally. Um, it's all, though it's all original bar, this brass nut. And this, of course, is the uh, Mick Green guitar. And um, I've been asked, luckily, by two guys that used to be in the Pirates to do a bit of a Pirates sort of tribute show next year. And this is the guitar I'm going to be using. I don't name my guitars, really, but I, I've nicknamed this one the Mick Green guitar. And it actually is a sticker on the back of the headstock, right? Woodstock Music Centre, Belfast. So I don't know if anybody knows anything about that place. But yeah, that's guitar number, I think it's uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, guitar number seven, the Telecaster Custom from 1976. And now another interesting Telecaster, the first vintage guitar I ever owned. This is a 1974 Telecaster Deluxe with the uh, wide range humbuckers. Now, I've been at the Mick Green a long time and I talk about him a lot. And I was in the Crane's music store in Cardiff and this was there and it looked like Mick Green's I didn't really know better about the, having the, the the single coil in the bridge and he only ever used that so I seen this and I bought this it's a bit but it's not a bit but it's a lot battered and I gigged this a lot you know when I first had it and stuff but I don't gig it as much now but it's got a real cool unique sound I've done some uh, Jimmy Bryant videos on the channel and I use this guitar in the in-between setting because I do really like these pickups this is definitely well played in. And I do like the big the big strap style uh, headstock on here as well. So there we are. There's the uh, 74 Telecaster Deluxe. This is a, a guitar made by my friend uh, Dave Durnley. This is a Dave Durnley Taff Delta Telecaster. Based on a 53 Blackguard, which I uh, liked in the famous Blackguard book. Swamp Bass body is super light, it's super resonant. It's got the Spencer Shed pickups in it as well. It's one of the best Telecasters I own. And it's all made in Wales, which again makes it super cool. So that's the Durnley guitar. Up next is the, uh, the most vintage Telecaster up to now in the collection. This is my stock, all original 1963 Fender Telecaster. I got very lucky with this. This was sourced by Dave as well. And uh, it's got the original wiring configuration. So you've got the bridge pickup on its own. Neck pickup and then you've got that dead sound. I've never modded it and I don't intend to. It's a beautiful guitar. It's super light. I mean, the neck is worn in. There's one little blemish there on the neck. I don't know if you can see it. I dinged it. I did on a gig. So I had to, I had to have a repair because it was bugging me when I was playing it, you know. But this is a killer sounding guitar, you know, Mike Bloomfield, etc. Does that stinging muddy water slide stuff as well. So that's the 63 Telly. There's guitar number 11 in the collection. This is the Fender Custom Shop, Danny Gatton. This is from about 97. And uh, I remember I bought this from the Forest of Dean. And I swapped a um, AVRI telly and some cash on top, cash my way, of course, for this. And it was mint when I had it. I've since, since chipped it a bit and dinged it because I've played it. But this guitar made me fall in love with the Joe Barden pickups. It's got a super flamey neck. I don't know if you can see that on my iPad camera. It's got the, the dots down there, look, as well. Custom shop. This is a real piece of kit, this is. It's got the broadcaster style knobs and it's just, it's got that extra fret as well to really get up the dusty end. I mean, there's tons and tons of videos on this on the channel and it's just an amazing, amazing guitar. 
I couldn't recommend these enough. If we ever see one and you know when you're in the position to buy, I'd buy one. I'd like a black guard one as well. Maybe I'll change the guard on that or maybe I'll have to buy a black guard one. And okay, then this is Telecaster number 12, the final one in the collection. This is a Japanese Paisley. Made in Japan, Paisley Telecaster, the 69 reissue. I've always loved these, you know, these Paisley Telecasters. James Burton playing with Elvis. There's uh, some footage of Big Al Anderson from NRBQ playing one as well. I'm trying to think who else plays one. Comment below. But this is a new old stock one. I bought this from a great shop in Pembroke called Main Street Music. He did me a super deal on this. It, again, it was mint when I had it, but because it's me, I some, seem to have a, a thing where if I, only, I look at them and they chip, I just, I'm a bit, you know, clumsy, I suppose, with them. But they're tools and they're made to be played, and this is a super guitar. These always get a bad rap for weak pickups, but I don't think it does. And I mean, again, there's reviews and demos of every single one of these on the channel, so you can look at them in depth as well. So there we are, that's number 12. That's my uh, Telecaster guitar collection. 12 guitars. I think I've got Telecaster problems. And there is another special one on the way, which is coming in March. I can't sing any more than that. And maybe one day I will own an original Blackguard. I hope you enjoyed this video and a little look into my collection. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I appreciate you watching the channel and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.